Hello Amazon.com, it's me Bo Shows coming to you today with a mime shirt. These are the classic uh, sailor type shirts that you may see especially on mimes. And in case you guys don't know, one of my side hustles, yes, I'm a mime. No, 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 no. I'm serious, like professional mime. Like I've actually been trained in this. I've, I've mimed from Pike Place Market to Paris, you name it. And you may be like, oh, Bo, you're so full of yourself. Besides, you're talking anyway. No, no, it's okay for a mime to talk as long as he doesn't have his gloves on or his costume is somehow incomplete. So yes, there is mime etiquette. But anyway, you don't care about that. You wanna know about this really cool sailor shirt. I'm gonna say right now, just go based upon your sizing. I actually got a size up based off of the reviews and I thought, oh, it's one of those, you know, classic Chinese sizes that just runs small, so I'm at least gonna get a size up. No, I would highly recommend that you just stay with your size. Typically, I get a size medium. This is a large. Now, you may think, oh, but it falls quite nicely on you, but there's actually quite a bit of bagginess. Do you see that right there? I just wish it was in a little more. Now, granted, I am a tall and lanky sort of fellow. I'm about six foot one, 165 pounds, so fairly skinny. So if maybe you're a little thicker than 165 pounds, a large might in fact work on you. Uh, but for me, unfortunately, I have to return this. If I did get a medium, it would be an absolute five out of five stars. So there's not anything intrinsically wrong with the product. It's just me and my sizing and I ignored it. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get a size up and I shouldn't have done that. So I will give it full full stars, but in case you're wondering, just go by your size. If, if you're a guy with size medium t-shirt, get a medium. If you're a size large, get a large. Um, so right now, you may like get a tape measure and kind of, you know, measure around like this. And you're like, oh, he's a size 40 chest. So therefore, I'm going to look on their measurement thing and go based off of that. Read it very carefully. They, they say, this is not your body measurements. This is the shirt measurement. And even that, it's a little wonky. So be, be prepared in the off chance that you do have to return this. I hope you don't. Just go based off of your sizing. And lastly, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of pantomime because of course I did throw that reel out there and hopefully I hooked you and you were like, oh, he's an actual mime. I hope he, I hope he shows us something if I stick around and watch this whole video. Yes, you will not be disappointed. Okay, all right. So of course I am talking and that's lame. Mimes do not talk, but still, the cool thing about mime is that they take the invisible and they make it visible. Does that make sense? So invisible cup and I interact with it, making it visible. Now think of a magician, for example. A magician is the complete opposite. He takes the visible, like a rabbit, and he makes it disappear and he makes it invisible. So chew on that for a little bit. Isn't that cool? So a mime is technically opposite from a, uh, a magician. And uh, in case you're wondering, yes, mimes do not like clowns. Please do not get us mixed up with clowns because I can't stand clowns. Clowns are scary. Mimes are lovable though. Very, very lovable. Mimes do not hurt you. Clowns will hurt you. They're scary, terrifying. And so if you want to do a little mime yourself, you can get one of these sailor shirts, maybe for Halloween, or maybe you actually want to go out and make a couple bucks miming out on the streets. Just remember, you need gloves, hat, Typically face paint to kind of create that neutral mask. Definitely the striped sailor shirt. The one that I link below is absolutely perfect. Suspenders, black pants, black shoes. Just Google around my name and you'll find some other things of me miming. And lastly, uh, you need to learn how to mime. And uh, there's basically three elements to miming. And I'm gonna share those with you right here. This is really actually quite fascinating. There's the wind up, snap, and release. And so uh, earlier I did the cup, right? And you take it and you kind of interact. And right now it's kind of sloppy because I don't have my gloves on and there's just some crispness when you see a mime in the full full get up. You know, this is, this is that, that, that's sloppy. That's like, that's like something that you would see at a dance off or something. We're not, we're not gonna go there. But the wind up snap release is absolutely paramount to achieving an illusion that is uh, creating something invisible and interacting with it. So the first step is wind up. So you exaggerate, you wind up, and then when you get to what you want to establish, let's say a cup for example, you snap, and then you interact with it, 
and then you release. So it's all exaggerated, but those three elements right there, wind up, snap, and then release. So that is how you, that's how you mime. Isn't that cool? And you can extrapolate that. You can apply that principle, wind up, snap, release, to virtually anything to establish it. So let's say, for example, the glass box, the wall. If you, you're like, oh, well, he's not doing the wind up, snap, release. Ah, I am. I'm wind up, snap, and then wind up, snap, and then release, release. Do you see that little pop between? So wind up, snap, release. Wind up, snap, interact, release. Wind up, snap, 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 snap. Release, 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 release. Now, now it's just second nature, it just comes. Same with pulling a rope. You wouldn't just go up to a rope and just do this. You know, this is just sloppy, right? You would do wind up, snap, wind up, snap, release, snap, release, snap. I'm just doing it off the, off the cuff here. Right, right, right. Or a ladder, wind up, snap, well, you can't see my legs. Let's back up a little bit. So like this, right there. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't that awesome? Wow. So lastly, why do mimes wear sailor shirts? Well, it's just a, a classic traditional look that mimes use, but also there's something kind of weird about these, uh, these, these wavy type shirts and uh, they just draw the audience's eye. So that's it. I hope that you have been edified and educated in this fantastic video on not only how to mime, but also I snuck in a little review on this sailor shirt that is linked below, amazon.com. My name is Bo Shevisu, The Mime. I'll catch you later.